Do you think? I think he looks like he could be possessed. If he went like full Chucky doll and he woke up one night and he was there at the end of the bed holding a kitchen knife. <laughs> Andrew Hackney, will there be a season three of Jack Whitehall Goes Travelling with his dad? I don't know, will there be a season three? Potentially. Yeah. Who knows? Watch this space. Conversations are afoot. Yes, our people are talking to their people and that sort of thing. What about Davina Emily Brown? Which child do they like the best, Winston included? Ha 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 ha. She'd put the ha ha ha. Oh, right. Not adding that. That wasn't me finding no. that. No. The question hilarious. Who's your best child? It's just, do they like the best? I think we're oh, referring I see to what you. We, we like. No, not we. No, you've got a child, haven't you? This would be a very odd way to tell you. Telling the nation. Telling the nation, you know. <laughs> yes. YouTube Q and A. Yeah. I'd set up Davinia Emily Brown to to ask the question <laughs> so that I can just segue yes. neatly into the revelation that I am now yes. a father and you are a grandfather. Mm. May- we're maybe with Davina Emily Brown. <laughs> <laughs> She's yes. mothered my love child. I think we better move on from, from that. Thank no, you. Daddy, I, this is Thank I do need it. to tell you that. What? That you're now a grandfather. Right. And Davina Emily Brown is. <laughs> she has the baby. And is she a boy or a girl? Davina is a girl. No, the child. The child is a boy. A boy. <laughs> Little right. Bonnie Bobby Brown. Not Bobby Brown. That's all we yeah. need. A name that's taken. Right. I'm just trying to see what she looks like, Davina. Yeah, she looks all right. Nice looking girl. Wholesome. Wholesome. Yeah, that's a wholesome girl. Mothering material. Markle. Is this Meghan Markle? No, Marky Mark. Oh, Marky Mark. What would you do if you found out Winston is possessed? It's a very <laughs> likely very, scenario. Yes, do you think? I think he looks like he could be possessed. If he went like full Chucky doll and he woke up one night and he was there at the end of the bed holding a kitchen knife. Hmm. You've never liked Winston, really. Because I think he has a creepy vibe. He's got a horror film vibe to him. Hmm. I definitely think he could be possessed. Like Damien from The Omen. Maybe yeah. you'll have to get him well, exercised. I think, I think Marky Mark, he might be onto something there, then. There is a suspicion that he might be, but he, I mean, he's done nothing so far to suggest that he is possessed. Although he does look at planes out of the window and they come out of the sky sometimes. But you know, I guess a lot of children have that. I mean, if you really seriously think that this might be the case, I've got a whole team of vicars locally. Do you mean a team of vicars? Well, there's a church over there we go to sometimes. There's one in Barnes we go to sometimes. Oh, so there's, there's vicars locally, not like a team of vicars that you well, meet up Well, they could all come with. together and exorcise him. Do you have a WhatsApp group with all the vicars? No, I just, you... just no, because I go to church sometimes. When was the last time you went to church? Last Christmas. <laughs> So when you say sometimes, you mean well, just once a year Christmas. at Christmas you go to a church? Yeah. The same church? You don't know... No, different church. You don't know any vicars. So that's plenty for Marky Mark. Oh no, it's... Oh no, this is the next one. Callum Richard... Why do they all have two names, all these people? I mean, have you ever said to somebody, Oh, hello, this is Jack Peter Benedict Whitehall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Jack. But it's, oh, like yeah. it's a Twitter handle because Callum Burgess was taken, so he's gone for Callum Richard Burgess. Oh, I, see. I have a friend who thinks Arsenal will finish in the top four. What should I tell my delusional friend? I think that's one for you, Jack. I would say that he's an Arsenal fan, so he is well averse with the crushing disappointment of Arsenal not finishing in the top four so you don't have to say anything he will have that horrible moment at the end of the season when we implode and you'll be able to laugh at him don't worry about that nothing required from you Sandy de Silveira was Jack ever expelled from boarding school 
I've never been expelled, but I was once cautioned for taking in a bottle of gin and getting um, hooned with some of my mates, some of the lads. Digby. Noah. Did someone who were a legend? There's a lot more to that story than you've just told. Stephen Matrick. I know that's sorry. No, this is Sandy de la Sedevera. Come on, there was more to it. You were caught in a field at school in the nude. That's a separate incident. By the headmaster's wife. That's a separate incident. Who was walking her dog. And you jumped out from behind a hedge in the nude. You made that. You did. That is a complete fabrication of what that story was. I was doing an art project where we were filming like an abstract art installation video. And there was a scene in it where I was stood naked in a field. So that's why I was naked in the field. I did not hide in a bush naked and then leap out in front of the head. Oh, you did because you saw her coming with the dog. You thought, I better hide because I've got no clothes. You're making it sound like I'm some... Like sexual predator. <laughs> like I was trying to expose myself to the headmaster's <laughs> wife. I wasn't. I was doing an no. art. She walked past and saw me naked in a field. There was no element of me surprising her or waiting. I think in you a were bush. quite surprised when you saw her. I coming. was surprised, yeah. yes. yes. But I, just to be clear, I was not leaping out no. at her. That is very different. And what was this project? The project was an the art mood. project. I, as you know, I did art at school yeah, and I was doing a, yeah. like a modern art piece and that's why I was filming it. And I was not cautioned or expelled right. because it was an art installation. I remember you got a scholarship to your school. That's the only reason you went there. Yes. Because I could get I did some art. money off. Yes, I did art. Yeah. But I was not given it. But it was, was still not quite expelled. weird. I was not expelled. I was not portioned. I did have to sign the sex offenders register. Yeah. But other than that, and that poor I got in woman, no trouble whatsoever. She always, after that, she always had a look of surprise on her face all the time. <laughs> that headmaster's wife. That they didn't last for very long. Because to get a new headmaster in her life, because she couldn't cope with she it. Cope. At that awful moment in that field. Okay, final problem. It was problem. winter too. It was. Why is that? Why, what, why well, is that? There was snow on the ground and you were there, nothing on. Why is that relevant? It well, it affected all this department. Obviously, with the cold and the ice and the frost. <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. Jenny Prynne, our final problem for today. What is the secret to a long lasting marriage? Oh, Jenny Prynne looks like she's got a couple of years on board there, <laughs> doesn't she? She's very much my kind of lady. Well, Jenny, you look like you might know the secret to a long-lasting marriage. I would say this is the secret to a long-lasting marriage, mm. I've heard, is compromising. Yes, If you take absolutely. some compromising photographs yeah. of your partner, that means they can never leave you. Oh, that's not what I thought you meant. No, right, okay. I mean, I do a hell of a lot of compromising with your mother, I can tell you. On what? Well, on the, most things. I mean, that's how it works so well, because I'm quite saintly. And she can be quite demanding, but I will always, you know, bow to her. And you bow to her? Bow to her. Is that something that's... Yeah, well, sunny. only when she comes in the room. <laughs> well, then I don't keep bowing, yeah. but if she comes... Say we're having a dinner party and she comes in, I will obviously bow to her as she arrives. Is that something she's requested? No, I just do it out of respect to her. <laughs> but I don't cross her. I, don't, I wouldn't ever take her on. Or, what, like? No, not that sort of crossing. <laughs> but, you know, if she says something that I disagree with, I will not let her know that I disagree with her. So, for instance, if she said, I met this amazing girl yesterday who was a vicar at the local church. I would say, oh gosh, how nice. What a nice thing that you're becoming friends, you two. I wouldn't say to her, I don't think me. Never attempt any of that. She'd probably chin me if I did. So I have to keep you know, the lid on everything. Okay. Well, this has been great, um, and I obviously want to end by thanking all of you for sending in your problems. Hopefully we help with some of them.